All right, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. I'm really happy today to welcome two distinguished guests. Before I do that, I should introduce myself. I'm Chad Makovsky. I'm the aviation director here for the City of Phoenix Aviation Department right here at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Our two distinguished guests today are, um, <laughs> apparently Mother Nature is with yeah. us today, um, but I'm happy to introduce our two, two guests and staunch advocates for our airport system to discuss important investments that will improve the efficiency, capacity, and resiliency of America's friendliest airport. First, our leader, who's always thinking of ways for us to be an industry leader and innovator. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Kate Gallego today, please. And I'm also honored to welcome Congressman Ruben Gallego, who's been a strong advocate for us in DC, Washington, DC. Congressman Gallego has worked and continues to work very hard to ensure that Phoenix and Sky Harbor Airport continue to get our fair share of federal funding and support to make our city and our transportation systems work. So thank you and welcome, Congressman. Before I invite them to provide some remarks on why this investment is so important to our future and our growth at Sky Harbor, I wanted to provide you just with a quick little bit of context about the immense activity and opportunity that we're seeing right here at our hometown airport. Sky Harbor is the gateway to the city of Phoenix and we're really as busy as we've ever been. We saw record levels of traffic. In fact, we had our busiest year ever in 2023 and we hosted the Super Bowl last year and a day after the Super Bowl, we had our busiest day we've ever had in the history of our airport with more than 200,000 passengers moving through our airport and over 83,000 passengers moving through our airport security checkpoints. And that was the day after Super Bowl. But this spring, uh, something remarkable has happened. We're very regularly seeing daily passenger numbers rivaling the busiest day we've ever seen. In fact, a few short Sundays ago, we almost broke that daily record uh, the day after Super Bowl. So even as our aviation department uh, team works really hard every single day to provide a great passenger experience for all who use our airport, our terminals continue to age and key infrastructure systems need to be upgraded and replaced to keep up with passenger demand. But we have to make sure that we meet the expectations of these community members. And thanks to our local leadership and the federal support we've seen, we're able to barely move these uh, forward as our roadways get more congested, our terminal concourses get busier, and passenger activity continues to increase uh, for the demand that meet to, to support our, our community. And so with that, I'd love to introduce and invite uh, Mayor Kate Gallego to say a few more comments. Mayor. Thank you, Chad. We are so lucky to have America's best airport director leading America's top airport. We are excited to be ranked number one for large airports by the Wall Street Journal. And we are not resting. Uh, Congressman Gallego has been a great partner for Sky Harbor in making sure that we continue to improve the airport. It is such an important part of our community, bringing people together with their family, bringing economic opportunity and jobs. It's a hub of economic activity and we are not going to rest. We are going to keep improving. Uh, the congressman has helped us deliver several important funding announcements that we want to celebrate today. Sky Harbor is beloved, but the uh, traffic on Sky Harbor Boulevard is not beloved. Yes, 100%. <laughs> So Congressman Gallego has worked to do, deliver congressionally directed funding that will help improve the traffic coming into the airport. Uh, if you have complained that the signs are confusing, we are answering today. So thank you to the Congressman for helping make sure that traffic coming into the airport is smoother and a little bit easier to get around. With that congressional award, the airport will improve the circulation around Terminal 3, so it'll be easier to get in and out, and equally important, less confusing. Uh, the Congressman has also helped us secure funding $36 million for upgrades to Sky Harbor to make it more comfortable inside. We are going to upgrade equipment that is 35 years old and helps cool the airport. We have gotten some comments that in some areas it is not as comfortable as it should be. We want to do this upgrade in a way that is environmentally responsible, so this can really help us reduce the energy expenses of the airport, meaning we're spending less of your traveling public's dollars on cooling and get a more comfortable product. 
We have a goal to have zero emissions at Sky Harbor for carbon by 2040, so a decade ahead of much of the rest of the city. And today's $36 million announcement will help us get closer to these very important sustainability goals while making the airport even more comfortable. So thank you for helping make Sky Harbor Airport America's most comfortable airport. And lastly, I wanted to celebrate a $10 million raise grant that the congressman helped secure. This will help us with the areas right to the west of the airport to create a cultural corridor. Uh, it is an incredibly important area to the history of not just the valley, but the entire country. This is where Cesar Chavez fasted and where Dolores Huerta, Huerta coined the frame, phrase, si se puede. Uh, we will be able to make important infrastructure upgrades from uh, ADA accessibility, as well as cultural corridor and signage so that people will know about the incredible history in this area and it will help reconnect communities who are so deeply tied to the airport and, and connect, connected to it. So thank you so much for your championship of Sky Harbor, making it a great neighbor and more accessible and more comfortable. And now we will welcome Congressman Gallego. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Chad. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here at uh, my favorite airport, Sky Harbor Airport. Uh, and it's not just because I fly in two to three times a week here, but it really is, uh, uh, with all the uh, travel, one of the most well-run, uh, comfortable uh, airports. And it's not just because I'm biased because the mayor's here um, or Chad's here. But it really is true. If you travel as much as possible for a big city uh, airport, this is by far the best. Uh, it cannot be done without the, the great staff that works here. Uh, Chad and, of course, uh, the airport staff are amazing. Um, you definitely feel uh, when you land here that this is a top-notch uh, organization. Uh, and it feels like this is the uh, airport of the future. And I can't wait to continue with the growth. And of course, Mayor Gallego has been a steady hand here at the airport, but of course, just in the valley with the continued economic growth and leadership that she's shown. And uh, it is uh, a great aid to the state for her uh, to be in the position that she is. And while I'm in Washington working to secure these critical infrastructures dollars, Chad and uh, Mayor Gallego are using these dollars every day to better serve Phoenicians, visitors, and even those who are only in our airport for a few short hours layover. And I am more, I understand more than anybody else uh, how important a comfortable airport uh, is. Uh, this is where I land every day. I reunite with my family. I get, uh, you know, meet my coworkers, sometimes other members of Congress. We actually meet up here when they're connecting on flights, and they have nothing uh, but compliments. And I've seen this airport change remodeled, expanded, uh, and improved. Sky Harbor's growth and improvement reflects the entire valley our, and our entire state. In just a few decades, we've seen communities sprout seemingly overnight, roads paved, homes built, and more families that now call home Arizona. Arizona home. This isn't a coincidence. It's because of the small business owners who decided to open their, their places here. It's because of companies like Intel, and thanks to our Bipartisanship Act, who chose to invest and expand their footprint in the state, including the work that Mayor Gallego did to get TSMC here. And it's because of leaders on the local, county, and state and federal levels that fostered an atmosphere necessary to entice those workers and businesses to call this home. And where do they first land? Sky Harbor. This is where more than 44 million passengers, am I counted multiple times in this? Okay, so I definitely contribute a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. Uh, it's where more than 400,000 planes depart from and land each year. And it's where folks will see it for the first time when they come to town for whether it's the Suns game, Carnival's game, Phoenix Open. Uh, we, we have to say, of course, our football team. We can never forget them. As well as soon to be the final four. And it's where, th sorry, soccer. And it's where, thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure law, were successfully secured more than $15 million to create a more enjoyable experience. We should be proud and are proud of how our city has grown in its recent years. Phoenix, and really Arizona as a whole, has become a prime destination for business, vacation, and families to stay and grow. 
which makes investing in a high quality, comfortable, and efficient airport all more important. And this is why this has become one of America's greatest cities with one of America's greatest airports. So we are proud to uh, have this investment here. What it will do is it will improve cooling towers. As the mayor said, it does, uh, can get hot in some areas. It will upgrade the central utility plant and an overall more efficient HVAC system as well as the, <laughs> the roadways on the way in and out. So thank you so much for everyone that, that's here. Thank you for uh, city staff that has uh, helped us put this together. And thank you for the mayor to making sure that this is America's friendliest uh, airport. And with that, let's present this check. I just want to thank the mayor and uh, Congressman Gallego for their leadership. Uh, this is going to absolutely improve the efficiency, resiliency, and capacity of our airport for the future. We look forward to putting this money right to work. And uh, with that, I believe the congressman and the mayor are available for questions and answers. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Any questions? Questions? Great, thank you. JJ. Let me hand this off to the scientist in the group first, and then I'm going to steal from her answer. Perfect. So today's announcement is really important for the airport's ability to hit our carbon neutral grant. It will help us have a much more efficient cooling system. So this will save not only energy, but also water. Uh, the Sky Harbor has one of the most ambitious climate goals in the city, and we really appreciate the federal government's partnership in helping us achieve these goals. When you fly, you may notice that there's a fee on your ticket that helps with the cost of running Sky Harbor. Uh, the amazing partnership we have with the federal government helps us deliver one of the lowest cost fees of any airport in the country. And the great work our congressional delegation does to make sure we get our fair share of federal investment is very helpful. Uh, this is part of one of the many, we have a wide variety of initiatives on sustainability that we are going forward with at Sky Harbor. That includes uh, advanced building materials, including the ability to adjust the windows based on sun tint, investment in solar energy and other renewables, and trying to move forward with sustainable fuels, both for rental cars as well as for airplanes. So we are really trying to lead the way. Uh, Sky Harbor manages Deer Valley and the Goodyear Airport, and those airports may be some of the most important in the country for sustainability with electric aviation. Uh, we have some great training partners there that do flight schools and they are looking at really being world leaders in electric aviation, so that would give us the chance to move away from fossil fuels. Um, training programs are wonderful for electric aviation because you can take off and land at the same place, and so you just need one set of charging infrastructure. So those are just a few of the ways we are trying to lead, not just locally, but on a much broader scale. Thank you, and so everything she said. Now you understand how I graduated college. <laughs> yes, other questions? Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor, Chad, and uh, I really look forward to this continued growth. And uh, again, thank you for being such a welcoming airport every time uh, I get back. Thank you. Good job.